We have our Linux server running in VirtualBox, and I'm going to log in in PuTTY and my username and password. And I want to look at some information about my hardware and possibly my operating system. Uh, that information is uh, uh, stored in many different places in our system. We're going to use a, a few applications to, to get easy access to that information. Uh, but first, if we change into the root directory, we see there are a number of uh, subdirectories. Some of them that contain information about hardware is within the slash dev directory devices. Uh, so disks, um, uh, network devices, different hardware devices, uh, the operating system keeps track of them in the dev directory. Regarding software processes, historically that was stored in the, the, the proc directory, but in fact Linux stores a lot of information or gives the user access to a lot of information about the Linux kernel via this proc uh, directory. And it's trying to split that up and, and leave the pure process stuff there and put other system information in the sys directory. So the point there, there are three important directories in a Linux machine, dev, sys and proc, which give the user access to information about the hardware and the operating system. So we can get it from there, but it's nicer to use some specialized applications to give us some information. One of them is LSHW, and we need to install that. So I'll install LSHW, it's not currently installed. It's LS for list, HW hardware, provides us a, a very nice output which lists our hardware. And if I run LSHW, it shows me a long output of the hardware it detects. And I'll scroll up and we'll go through quickly some of those things. Noting that this uh, Linux machine is running inside VirtualBox, so there's no actual hardware, there's uh, virtual hardware, although some of it from my laptop is passed through. Some of the information may not be displayed because I didn't run it as SuperUser, so if I preceded the command with sudo, I may get a bit more, but not much. So it's showing that I have some memory, in this case about 500 megabytes. I set up the 512 megabytes for RAM. The CPU, this is showing actually my uh, laptop CPU, the Intel i5, and some capabilities or features of the CPU. And then other hardware like the PCI bridge and, and PCI devices, most of them will be virtualized, provided by VirtualBox. The display, the virtual VGA display, which is not uh, uh, very important in this case, the virtual network device, an Intel LAN card. That's a virtual device. The actual device on my laptop is different, but VirtualBox presents it to Linux as this virtual Intel Ethernet card. And a number of other devices like audio, USB bridges, uh, storage devices, the SATA controller and the disk drives. And down the bottom the CD-ROM. So LSHW is one way to see some in information about our hardware. Uh, similar commands which show details about PCI and USB devices, that's LSPCI, uh, which gives a list of PCI devices and LS USB is similar for USB devices, which is not much in this case. On, when Linux is running on real computers, on real hardware, this can be quite useful because you can identify the, the different devices, PCI, USB and other, using LSHW, LSPCI and LS USB. Uh, as with many commands, there are, in Linux there are many options, uh, one of them if you want more information, you want a verbose output, add the minus V option. And it gives details about those USB devices in this case. Many details of the USB devices. Similar with LSPCI. It gives details of all those PCI devices. So that's a little bit about the hardware. Uh, what about disks? different ways to see disk space. Um, 
and the partitions and, and the structure of the, the file system. One is using DF. DF, uh, DF presents some summary information about the, the in this case, the uh, mounted uh, partitions. And it's a little bit complicated because there are some temporary file systems that Linux sets up, but the main one here is the root uh, directory, which is referring to the SDA1, which is a, a, a disk device. That's my main disk. And the output is a little bit easier if we show it in human-friendly form, the minus H option, and it shows my disk space here has uh, a total size of 2 gig and I've used 1.1 gig. So that's a very useful information. Uh, the other temporary file system, the one we note here, this 245 meg, this is related to the swap drive which is used for virtual memory. So if you recall I set up my disk with 2.5 gig. Linux when it installed it allocated about 500 meg for um, virtual memory, swap space and about 2 gig for the actual storage of files. Other information we can see about uh, the operating system. Um, LSB release tells us something about the uh, Ubuntu version we're running. And we need the minus A option here to get anything useful. This tells us we're running Ubuntu 16.04.3 uh, long-term support. The version of Ubuntu we're running. And Ubuntu uses the Linux kernel. One way to see information about the version of the Linux kernel, uname minus A, Linux, and the kernel version is 4.4.0-87 generic, and some other details about the, uh, that it's a 64-bit operating system. So there we have a few commands that will give us information about our computer, the hardware and the, the software, and especially the operating system, LSHW, LSPCI, LSUSB for hardware, DF for disk space, LSB release and uname for the operating system information.